don't even know what I'm supposed to say. I, I don't even, I don't, I don't even, I don't even know how to begin. Uh, I, <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck I'm supposed to talk about. Because no one understands how fucking horrible and ridiculous my life is. And the people in my immediate vicinity, in my immediate circle of friends, like, they understand even less than people, like, hours and miles and countries away from me. Seriously. I didn't have an eye doctor appointment today. My eye doctor appointment is the 10th, not the 4th. And even though we've been rescheduling doctor's appointments, and Sean took off work, and we totally made it there, it's not. It's not. I should have known better, because it's KU, and when has anything ever worked out with KU anyway? Because it just doesn't. But, whatever. I didn't get any sleep last night. I took fucking Valium and Oxy, and didn't even get any fucking sleep. So, <laughs> at 7 o'clock, I had to get out of bed after not getting any sleep and get dressed and I have a totally cute outfit on and this is fantastic. I just am really feeling awesome. Whatever. Um. <sighs> the whole, like, the whole fucking way there is just like going to my grandma's house. Which, like, insult to injury, my grandma doesn't live in her house anymore because she's been put in a home. And there's no silver lining to this ridiculously out of the way drive, the wait in traffic. I mean, it's like 40 fucking minutes on the road for fucking nothing. If things were different, oh, always if things were different, if things were different, I could have seen grandma. I could have at least stopped in and seen my grandma, and like, maybe there would have been some redeeming quality to that visit that would have allowed me to not fucking, like, freak the fuck out over the ridiculous way that my life plays out. But my grandma's not even there. My grandma's at home now. And I visited her twice. Twice. Two fucking times I've seen her in that home, and already I'm put on the banned list. So, I'm not even allowed to go in to the nursing home, which is, like, five minutes away, um, to see my grandma. And never before in my life has my period started on Halloween and prevented me from having Halloween fun. It's, like, only my most favorite holiday, like, of them all. And, um, I just, I, I just, uh, I could go on. I could go on for seriously fucking ever. There's not enough time. No one cares to hear about it. No one cares to know about it. Like, my life is so, so ridiculous. My life is so fucking ridiculously unfair. And, and just, like, such a bullshit exercise in suffering, like, you wouldn't even believe. Like, the only reason I exist is to just be the new low in the spectrum of human suffering. That's really it. That's all. That's all. It's really special. I feel super special about it. Oh, I don't know. My voice is horrible. Well, at least I'm yelling because my laptop needs for me to be really loud to be heard. I can never even hear the videos when I'm watching them on my laptop when I'm just like, you know, trying to watch a good video where I had a good day. I just like, I just want to remember what it's like to have a good day. It's like, now I'm not having a good day at all. And I'm, uh, I'm supposed to hang out with my best friend Adam 
and my new friend Jenny and the whole like plan of the day was to celebrate Adam's birthday because that was like two days ago and I'm gonna make vegan cupcakes and and here I am just like in the worst energy space like in the worst place that I could possibly be like yet again right right here and I, I've <laughs> I, I, I don't I don't even understand I don't even understand I don't I don't even feel very positive about the fact that like for the last three days even though I've had like headaches and I've been ridiculously exhausted and like unable to really move around much because I'm on my period. I'm standing and moving around now because nothing overrides pain and disability like adrenaline from being angry that you are alive! Nothing! Nothing! So, um... Isn't, isn't it grand? Is it, isn't it wonderful? Isn't my life just the most funny joke? It's just so fucking hilarious. I'm just like so cracking up over here. If, if I hadn't experienced this myself, if this wasn't my life, if these weren't my personal first-hand experiences, I wouldn't even believe it. It, it, it doesn't even sound like reasonable enough for it to pass as a movie plot because it is so ridiculous. You were saying, dear? Pretty much the people that are that aren't living it don't fucking believe it. They don't get it. They're just like, oh, well, you know, like just you know, whatever. You can't explain shit. Like the only people that that believe and acknowledge and accept that, yeah, shit is really that fucking unfortunate are people that experience similar events. That is true. And people whose people lives do we know experience events like that? Are maybe Cindy because her really is ridiculously sick and her husband is like got fucking ass cancer. People whose lives are really, really fucked up and they have relatives who have cancer and other horrible diseases. Those people understand. They understand a little bit. Uh, they understand that I suffer physically, but I don't think that anyone can really comprehend the uh, mental way, the <laughs> the way that I have to, like, experience this whole thing. And that's just because I'm a unique expression, blah, blah, blah. It's not even interesting enough for me to fucking say. Um, <laughs> it's not! It's so fucking old! It is. The whole ride home was old. Everything was old. Like, I don't know what to say. I don't know what There's to nothing say. new to say! <laughs> I, I, don't, I, want I wish there was something new to say! I wish that some new thought came upon me, but other than, oh my god, I might as well just be six years old and, like, absolutely frustrated. Only now, only now, I've had shit upon 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 shit experiences in my fucking life! Sucks. This sucks. A I lot of your friends. 
friends so. seem to be kind of useless, but you also what have friend? awesome people in your life. I have great Laura friends. is a great friend. Adam's I wouldn't know friend. Ginny if it wasn't for you. I wouldn't know Adam if it wasn't for you. The only friends that I have are the people that were Sean's friends. And, like, that's it. That's it. I don't have a single childhood friend that talks to me. Not, not a single childhood friend. My my best friend of like eleven years or something. It's probably more than eleven years at this point. Even when how many years could you even consider her a best friend? Like she wasn't even a fucking best friend when I met you five years. She wasn't even a best friend when I met her. She's just the only friend that I've ever, like, had, like, any, that, like, she's the only human I ever cared about. She assisted me when I was being that's molested, like, yes. That's like the she told her mom. Greatest thing she's ever done, and probably the only thing she will ever do for you. Well, she let me live there, but see, that's not really her letting me live there. That's her mom letting me live there. But yet, I get my ass totally chewed out when I'm like, oh, well, yeah, your daughter and son did have, like, two enormous parties where people were, like, throwing up in your bathroom, and there's cigarette burns on the carpet, and shit was stolen. Like, th then I'm a bad person. Then I'm a bad person because I betrayed a friend. I betrayed my friend, and that, and that, that makes sense, which doesn't make sense to me at all, because the, whatever age she was at the time, like, the 15-year-old girl that's, like, my friend, like, she's not the owner of the house, she's not the one that has, like, the say as to what goes on, her mother does, her 40-year-old mother does, so yeah, I was, like, owning up to the shit that went down to her mother in front of a fucking cop, and I still, I still get my ass chewed for that shit. No, they're, they're, like, they're obviously, obviously she's not my friend, and obviously she's never been my friend. And you know what? You don't typically have to lure your friends to your home with alcohol that they can't buy themselves. And they don't typically drop off the face of the fucking earth once they turn 21, either. So, obviously, not my fucking friend. All I, all I can hope is that my ranting will be out of me and I will be completely done being in this completely negative space and, and with this horrible energy and, and have a good day. Like, that's all I can hope for. I'm completely sleep deprived. I, I don't even think I'm going to be able to sleep because I... The Valium hasn't been working for me, so <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do. I mean, I guess I can drink. That's that's a great go-to, you know? Like, I honestly just want to know, like, why drinking helps so much. Like, why does drinking help a headache? Why does drinking help the pain? Do I have some, like, need to be vasodilated artificially or something? Like, I, I just, <laughs> I just don't understand why things happen and every time I try to go for help every time I try to go to, for help something falls to the cracks like like I hate my guy now I hate him that that that, that fucker would look at me and shake his head oh well you know Dr. Pepper has caffeine fucking really does it really Oh my god, I wasn't aware of that. You know, when I said I hadn't been consuming caffeine, oh, it turns out I'm not even aware of what caffeine is in. Like, ugh! And every goddamn thing with KU falls through. Every goddamn thing with KU falls through. I was, I was supposed to see a urogynecologist, like, two years ago, to see if I have some kind of spastic something or rather, or some other serious thing. Like, I think that's how, like, they, uh, diagnose, like, diagnose, like, polycystic ovarian whatever. 
and shit like that. And all I, all I want to fucking know is if I have, like, an eye disease, like, MAC, glaucoma, and cataracts. <laughs> like, these are the things that run in my family. These are the things that, that they seem to be skipping my mom and um, could be landing right on my immunodeficient head. And uh, I just don't know. I just don't know. So, you know, this is a rant.